Welcome back. Please hit like and subscribe. I want to go over a couple things with everyone. Um, online is constantly, oh, you build your own camper. You can't get it registered. It's impossible. It's this, it's that. It's actually a pretty easy process, at least here in Pennsylvania. Um, what I recommend doing is obviously when you're building it, save all your receipts. Um, the big thing that the state's looking for is to make sure that all your taxes are paid on the item. So I didn't start with the frame. I built the frame. I added everything. I did all the way through. So you can check out my other videos as well um, to see that process of the square top camper. But basically, um, let me go over with you some of the things that I did. Um, it's really pretty simple. So um, what you have to start with is this MV426 B form basically is what I did and inside that form is a um you know you have to list your name and everything else and gonna go from there um sorry i'm trying to flip this around but it's not working then what i had to do is um so i went to the um dmb place a uh, local private company here um they sent me over to a quarry um local quarry to get the weight stamp so you can see up there it's 1800 pounds um and they put their seal on there. That was no charge there. Um, then what you had to do is he took all my receipts, they put everything together, um, they helped fill out the form, and then they sent me over to a, they call it a special inspection center. Um, there will happen to be one locally that I've dealt with in the past. Um, they charged me $151. They kept the camper for about two nights, um, went through the whole thing, um, made sure that really the lights work and everything else. Um, on the outside, it meets all the safety codes, the DOT standards, those kind of things. Then you get a completed report from them. Um, it includes pictures, it included a couple of sheets of paper, the, all the forms filled out and everything else. Then you bring it back to um, the DMV office, which happens to be local as well. Then what you do is you send it off they send it off, excuse me, to the Pennsylvania State. Um, then in about two, three weeks, they sent me a title and a VIN plate um, to attach to the camper. That was fairly easy. There was a screw up. They had my weight at something like 16,000 pounds, which obviously isn't the case. Um, and then they basically had to redo that. So that was no big deal. So I did give it back to them. They sent it in and that was it. So it really wasn't a difficult process. It wasn't hard. Um, we're really just looking to make sure that they paid all the sales tax on the camper. And that was basically it. Um, please, if you have any questions or any concerns, just let me know, ask a question. Um, it was the simplest process. Um, you could type online. I just Googled Pennsylvania home built uh, camper or trailer and that's it. The only thing I will suggest you do is keep it under uh, I think it's 3,500 pounds. Under 3,500 pounds, you don't have to get it inspected every single year, um, which is something that you would do if it was over 3,500 pounds. Um, so basically it costs me $151 for the inspection. The registration was another, I'm trying to see here if it says that, something like $40, $50, and then you get the VIN plate and the title gets sent to you in the mail from the state directly. Um, really simple, nothing was difficult at all. Sorry, I was down like this, this way. Um, but it's not the nightmare that everyone talks about. I don't know how you would have a nightmare, I guess, unless you didn't have all your receipts, and yes, absolutely, it'd be a nightmare. Um, but you have to just show you know, they were really concerned about the lights. They were also really concerned about the axle. So you had to bring the um, the documentation regarding the axle to show that it was rated for what it weighed. Um, so my axles are 3,500 pounds. Um, the camper weighed 1,800. They made my gross limit about 2,800 uh, pounds, which was more to my um, request because I wanted to stay under that, um, you know, 3,000 pounds, 3,500 pound limit. But please, you know, do your research on it, save all your receipts, and you'll have no problem. Thanks a lot, and have a great night.